everyone, I just filmed a video on the carbon cycle so it makes sense therefore that I film a video on the nitrogen cycle. Check out my carbon cycle link right here if you need help with that topic. Now the nitrogen cycle is not as hard as it seems originally. You need to just start at one point and then build on from there. And the point I always start at is the fact that there are nitrates in the soil and these are our nitrogen containing compounds. So what will happen is the plants will absorb those nitrates through their roots and they'll use them in their growth and they'll use them to create amino acids and vitamins and things like that. So the nitrogen is now very much part of the plant. At this point an animal may come along and eat that plant, it feeds on it and therefore that nitrogen that was part of the plant becomes part of the animal's body. At some point both the plants and the animals will die and their decomposers will take those the animal bodies, the plant bodies, and they will convert them to ammonia. And then you need to know a very crucial name of a bacteria here, which is nitrifying bacteria, which will convert ammonia first to nitrites and then to nitrates, which will be returned to the soil. So nitrifying bacteria are definitely very good things. Unfortunately, there are things called denitrifying bacteria, which exist in the soil. And what they do is they convert the nitrates into nitrogen gas in the air, which is really frustrating for the farmers, because obviously they want as many nitrates as possible in their soil to help the plants grow properly. So if you've got these annoying denitrifying bacteria doing the opposite job, that's quite frustrating. However, luckily there are other good bacteria which exist, and we call these nitrogen fixing bacteria. And you can find these on special plants called legumes, and these are the peas and the broad beans, etc. And what they have is they have special root nodules, which are kind of like bulbous projections that stick out of the root and they contain these nitrogen fixing bacteria and what these do is they convert nitrogen in the air into the plant's very own supply of nitrates which is fantastic because it helps the plant grow really quickly. They also add an excess to the soil so basically farmers will choose to crop rotate which means plant various different crops over the different years and they'll choose to plant legumes so peas and beans every four years or so because what that will do is it will add a huge injection of nitrates to the soil and help all the plants that grow there afterwards grow better. So these are amazing things. Lastly, just remember things like lightning. Lightning adds nitrates directly to the soil. And remember the harbour process, which I've done a video on in chemistry to do with equilibria. But remember the harbour process, and that's the manufacture of ammonia, is the primary way in which we can actually make nitrogen-containing fertilisers. But yeah, that's the whole overview. Just start with your nitrates in the soil being absorbed into the plant, being eaten by other animals, being de decomposed, then the bacteria cause the ammonia to be converted to nitrates which go back into the soil and then add a few extra details to do with the harbour process, nitrogen fixing bacteria and lightning and you're good to go with that six mark question, it's really not so difficult. I'm going to add a question or two on the end of here and I hope you found my video helpful. Don't forget to like it and tell your friends about my channel. So see you soon, bye bye. So let's look at some nitrogen cycle questions, starting with this one. The diagram shows the nitrogen cycle with four different stages labelled A, B, C and D. Don't let yourself panic when you see these diagrams. You need to focus in on this specific part of the diagram rather than freaking out by looking at the whole thing. Name the processes A, B, C and D. Right, so on the right hand side we have an A arrow and it follows round. And the clue here is that the A arrow is pointing at the bacteria in root nodules of legumes. And remember I just told you that those bacteria are nitrogen fixing bacteria so that's what you need to write for A. Looking at B now, okay that's at the bottom in the middle so it's going from decomposers to ammonium ions. This one's way more straightforward, this one's just decom decomposition or decomposing. For C what we, we can see is that ammonium ions are being transferred into nitrate ions. Remember the name of the bacteria which does that is nitrifying bacteria so write the process of nitrification here. You could write nitrifying, that's going to be fine too. And then D, we're going from nitrate ions back to nitrogen in the air. So remember, that's the really annoying bacteria for farmers. And that's carried out by denitrifying bacteria. So you could write here denitrification. B, name two different groups of organisms that act as decomposers. Hopefully you could guess this, even if you're not totally sure. That is bacteria and fungi. C, the nitrogen in the nitrate ion in the soil can become nitrogen in a protein molecule in an animal. Explain how that happens and it's worth four marks. Right, so what you're going to say here is that nitrates are absorbed by the roots of plants and you could get an extra mark here by saying that they do this by active transport. Remember that's a type of um, transfer using energy. Then you could say that that nitrate is used to make amino acids or plant protein and then obviously this may get eaten by a plant which will give you a fourth mark. I hope I'm adding these up properly, I always lose track. And then the protein then gets digested in the animal by protease. So there's lots of available marks here. So first mark, absorption by roots. 
using active transport for the second mark, used to make amino acids in the plant for the third mark, eaten by an animal for the fourth mark, and then for um, if you're feeling jazzy, you could write that this protein is digested by protease. D. Farmers sometimes add fertilisers to the fields in which they grow their crops, suggest two advantages of using animal waste as a fertiliser rather than chemical fertilisers. Okay, for question one, this is a nice question. You could, for, Sorry, for mark one, you could say that it's cheaper to use animal waste. You could say for the second mark that actually there'll be less eutrophication if you use animal waste. Remember, that's when excess fertilisers are leached into rivers and cause excess plant growth, which eventually leads to the death of aquatic animals. But yeah, first mark right cheaper, second mark right less eutrophication. Nitrogen is an essential element for plant growth. Most plants can only use nitrogen in the form of nitrate ions. Only legumes that have bacteria living in their root nodules can use nitrogen from the air. A. Explain how nitrate ions help plants to grow. Well, it's because you use nitrates to make amino acids in the plant. 2. Name the type of bacteria that live in the root nodules of legumes. Those are nitrogen-fixing bacteria. B. Many animals excrete urine that contains urea. Some soil microorganisms use the enzyme urease to change urea to ammonium ions and carbon dioxide. Describe how ammonium ions can be converted to nitrate ions in the soil. So that's two marks. So you need to name the type of bacteria which does that conversion. And it's the nitrifying bacteria. And remember what they do is they convert nitrite to nitrate. So they are looking for specific answers there. I'm going to stop there actually. I hope you found my video helpful and don't forget to like it. See you very soon. Bye bye.